Yep, that's me, Trisha Grace. Cupping has changed my life. Let me help you. So come on, subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell. Hi, everyone. Okay, it's day two of my hysterectomy cupping journey uh, using my Trisha Grace cupping system. Yes, I know, I have no makeup on. It's early morning, but I wanna get this cupping session done on my hysterectomy star scars. But first, can you please subscribe right there? I'm going to wait. Did you subscribe right there? Okay, thanks. I'm going to be using a little bit of olive oil, but you can use whatever you want to. And let's just get started gonna spread this stuff on okay here's my hysterectomy scars one two three four let me turn this light down maybe y'all can see that a little better we have no sunlight again today so yeah okay Craig's gonna be coming in I see him I'm gonna use my orange cup hey honey say hi to everybody, Hello, everybody. <laughs> and I already spread lots of oil on the olive oil as I talked earlier. I am super sore in this area uh, that I showed yesterday from cupping. Oh, and by the way, if you all would like to see part one of this video uh, to catch up on everything, then just click on this card after the video is over, okay? Click on this card that's gonna come up and that will give you part one of this series of cupping my hysterectomy scars. Uh, okay, and so we're gonna continue. It, like I said, it is super sore in here. Normally, in my guide, I always say to wait, you know, a couple of days if you have soreness, you know, don't be cupping right, um, after you have soreness, but I read that uh, it is that when you are cupping scar tissue, <laughs> that I read that uh, you have to be more aggressive. I talk about this in my first video with scar tissue, uh, and so it has to be done more often. So for you all, I'm gonna see what it is like to uh, aggressively uh, cup and what I mean, and also more often cup this scar tissue because when I do my stomach, I normally um, just, ooh, that is sore. I normally just, you know, do my abs and I don't uh, concentrate on the scar tissue because I just, you know, it just was not a big issue to me. Well, that's super sore. And you know what, instead of using, I think I called this my intermediate cup, this is my pro cup. It has more suction. Uh, it has the most suction out of my cups, but I'm gonna move to my intermediate cup because it has less suction. And, woo, that still has a good amount of suction. You know what, I am so sore <laughs> that I'm gonna use my facial cup, which also doubles as a, uh, as a body cup for those that are super sore or can't handle a lot of pain. And I think I should do this because even this, it, I, I can feel the soreness when I'm just using this. I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna use this cup in this area. I may switch over to using, I'm gonna see if I can do this. Ooh, do it at once. <sighs> so I can use my intermediate cup on this side and it's not too much pain but this side is pretty sore, so I'm gonna keep using um, my facial cup. Yes, I have a lot of viewers that I've introduced this cup to because it is great for beginners uh, to use on the body. It's not just a facial cup, but I designed it to have a lot of suction, and so um, it is excellent for those who find cupping too painful in certain areas. And this cup is all I need right now. Okay. Oh, here's a good scar right here. You know what? I think on this one, I am going to, I can use the intermediate on this little scar in here. You can see that one. <laughs> okay, 
I put the cup on this scar right here. Uh, actually, after I thought I was done with this video and I thought, oh, I need to come back. I never, in the video, I'm sitting here going like this to all the other ones, but I'm not working on this one. This is sore. I'm using my intermediate cup and I can handle this here just fine. It's this area that is really sore, more so like in here versus over here. So I'm also going to use my little orange cup here because just in case I left out any do's and don'ts about cupping, make sure and check out my Trisha Grace Cupping and Blasting Guide. And the cool thing is, it comes with my Trisha Grace Cupping System. If you'd like to purchase my Trisha Grace Cupping System, I'll put the links in the description below. And look at the box that they come in. Woohoo! Look at this. What are you doing? I'm mailing Trisha Grace's cups. <laughs> So vacuum therapy is supposed to break up scar tissue because of its suction. It's using, it's the reverse of a deep tissue massage, let's say by using your hands. When you use your hands, you're pressing down and compressing. With vacuum therapy or cupping, you are kind of, you are pulling out that uh, scar tissue, pulling it up and helping to break up that scar tissue. Make sure again that you subscribe to this uh, to my channel so that you can see you know follow me and see everything that's going on and make sure to leave a comment below or any questions that you have about vacuum therapy and hysterectomy scars and if you got any pointers uh, let me know right below. Thanks you all! Oh my gosh today I am talking about one of my favorite subjects and that is cupping and hair. And voila. Hopefully you can see that. Oh yeah. everyone it's Hudson here listen if you love Miss Trisha's videos and you're on Instagram then make sure you put a like on her Instagram videos and share them with your friends and make sure to follow her and comment she loves to get your comments and if you want to subscribe to her on YouTube then make sure you just hit the bikini picture which will pop up on the left to the left of me and make sure there that you also comment to her and share her YouTube videos with everyone. Thanks a lot. Bye.